Hello and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And you can see that I am sitting here with the McLaren 12C GT3 car, car I have not driven for a very, very long time. Why am I driving this one? Well, there are two things that I'm going to be doing in this video, and I'm sure you've noticed from the title what one or both of them are. First of all, I'm going to do a comparison, a very sh uh, short comparison, only a few minutes long, of a set of Corsa then to a set of Corsa now. So what, what a set of Corsa was like then, as in back in 2013, 2014, when I made my very first video and a set of Corsa now in terms of graphics and maybe sounds or things like that, but primarily it's going to be graphics. And then I'm going to show you a preview for the shaders patch uh, which brings in some pretty awesome rain effects. So I'm going to be doing that and showing you just how how awesome it is and what you have to look forward to. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I am actually going to have my very first video or clips from my very first video up in the corner of the screen throughout this video as well so that we can get a side by side or just a box in box camera in camera comparison of a set of course in 2014 to a set of Corsa in 2020. Right, so here we, here we go. This has been a long time. In fact, you can see it's been a long time. I always bring these down to about 85%, but let's, let's give this a, a bit of a drive. And let's see if I can remember how to drive one of these. Okay, I've got a weird... So strange, strange things happened here with the set of course. It seems like... For some reason, it's... Uh, it's reading the... Upshifts, weirdly. But that's okay. You can, you can just see it, it always seems to blip on the upshift. Maybe I've just got to let go. Not too sure. Hang on. Do I have a... Nope, it's fine. Okay, so here we go. Just give it a drive. Give it a drive. Look at what has changed in a set of course over the years. Just for a few laps before we go into the rain. And I've chosen Silverstone for obviously the fact that it was the first one that I drove at. First truck I drove at, first video was at Silverstone. But right now I'm running this with content shaders, I'm running this with, um, uh, what, what else am I running this with? Um, Sol, that's the other one. So we've got content shaders, we've got Sol, I've also got the, uh, the immersion filters, so there's that as well which is making it look even better. But the realism is brilliant, and you can see it, although I'm, I'm driving on this, the box in box, hopefully, if I remember to put it in, one thing you should see is the difference on the interior. The interior here looks far more, uh, it, there's a lot more contrast on the interior on this, it looks more real, it looks darker, it looks like the light is filtering through where it should. So there is that as well. Uh, Let's not brake so hard. I'm not used to this car. Now, this isn't perfect, it certainly isn't perfect, but you can see how things are different. You've got the scratches on the windscreen, which you'll see in a bit, but also, if you have a look at the Silverstone wing, you'll notice that there's a, there is glass there. It, it looks like proper glass. It looks 3D. It's not a, a flat surface. There you go. Let's have a look at the Silverstone wing. All these things have changed thanks to the content shaders. Look at the, uh, the glass. The effects of, of the glass, or on the glass, should I say. Speaking of things beginning with G, have a look at the grass. Forget the glass, look at the grass. Things look very, very different. I will do an, um, an exterior as well. I'm not driving this car quickly at all. I'm, I'm driving this car quite quite sensibly, quite slowly. That's, that's the idea. So you can see just how much a set of course has changed. I had to look at my original video, obviously the field of view is going to be different, but I had to look at the original video and noticed just how much 
I didn't realise over time quite how much it's changed. I knew it had changed a lot, but I didn't realise at the time just how much that was. And you can really tell here. What I'll do is the next lap I'll do an exterior and uh, we'll have a look from the outside because I know I had exterior shots in, in the other one too, so we'll try and do some similar sort of comparison there. Obviously the majority of this video is going to be about, well, nothing's changed in in that world, has it? This car doesn't have quite as, nowhere near as much grip as 650 SGT3. Interesting. This car's a lot more um, skittish on the rear end. But also, I think there's something, something's a little bit odd about the throttle, but that's okay. Nothing to worry about there. That's not what we're here for. In fact, I think I did... I did go around in the dirt or something, didn't I, in, in this car at some point. I, I cannot remember where I, I was in the dirt and I was trying to... I was trying to uh, see how, what the dirt effects are like. Why am I braking so early? You can see there very clearly with the Silverstone wing how, how different it looks. But still... Um, just massive massive changes over time graphically obviously in the physics as well with the extended physics and the shaders patch doing a huge amount of amazing work let's go for an exterior view i think this was the exterior view i used but okay immediately you can see huge differences One of, the, one of the differences is, I think when I actually switch on the brake lights, you'll see the most of the brake lights do not just switch on just like that. Also, you had the exhaust glow. So we'll get that exhaust glow in a few seconds. There it is. I never used to have anything of that sort. Uh, ignore the weird sort of uh, ghosting effects. It's something I'm working on, trying to figure out how to stop that. But uh, just ignore the weird ghosting effects. Uh, obviously, as we've as we've got all these mods coming in, things have changed and uh, things are still a work in progress. For example, the rain is very much a work in progress. But this looks very different to to a set of course in 2014. Everything about this looks very different. This competes with modern day titles. This really does. It very much competes with modern day titles. And I think I think it's really, really nice that that we have this. So there we go, we're getting a, a nice nice experience here of uh, a set of course and how it's changed over time. So that's only been a few minutes, I said I was only going to spend a few minutes on this. The main part of this video is just to drive around in the rain. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over to, uh, to rain and we're going to see just what we get out of that. So let's just finish off this lap. Let's hit that, actually. There we go, there's another. That was actually a good thing to show. Look at that, sparks. That was a good thing to show. Can I just scrape along the side, actually? There you go. Just trying to push in right up against that. So that's something that we, we never used to have either. But there we go. Right, let's swap over to some rain. So I'm still going to be at Silverson, same car. But you'll see the weather will change. Okay, so here we are, and I'm in my debug menu now. I've also gone ahead and changed the multiplier to time 60 on the time. So we can see this going through different times a day. Uh, you can see that the car is obviously uh, switched on, and we've got different different kind of lights. Uh, the lights have just gone off, but we are going to get the lights on, on and off uh, throughout the track. So... This is the debug menu for the rain because the rain is still uh, 
it's a work in progress. So let's go ahead and add some wetness to the track. You can see that you yeah, have the track wet or not. You can add water to the track, like so. And then we can add rain. Now, unfortunately, I don't think the rain has much in the way of noise at the moment, but it is actual proper rain. Now, I don't know if it goes on the outside of the car in this particular car, so we'll have a quick look. And it does. And you can see another another way in which the set of course has changed. Look at the glass on it. And you can just see how the glass is very different, which I think is absolutely incredible. Now, as I said, it's a work in progress, so things may not be quite as you want them to be, but I, I'm pretty sure you would agree that that does not look too bad at all. It actually looks really, really good. I love the rain falling. You can see the rain drops over the, uh, or down the side of these. What I could do, I'm not sure if this is going to work, I'm going to try and uh, take a photo here and see see what comes about. As a matter of fact, that photo is looking better than I thought it would. These are other things that we can we can change as well. Uh, and in replay mode, we could change the uh, shutter speed and things like that. So there's so much that we can change. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and drive. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to actually increase the rain a little bit more, and I'm going to go to this part, uh, so this uh, page of mine. The reason I'm going to go on this one is because I, I really uh, do not want to do not want anything on the screen to get in the way. So let's drive around. So it's in light rain, so you should have the sun still peeking out, I think. Uh, whoa, okay. That's water. That's water catching me out there. Uh, so let's find out just how difficult it is to be in this rain. In fact, what I'll go ahead and do, so I might go up onto this, go here, and change it to a, a darker, let's see, uh, soil plan selector. I have light rain. Let's see what heavy rain looks like. Now let's not go for heavy rain. Let's just leave it at light rain. It'll just be easier for us to be able to see things throughout the day. So. This is what we've got. Now, I'm going to, obviously we've got wipers because, well, you can see we can't see here, but before we, before we get on with the wipers, uh, I'm going to drive like this, just for a bit, so you guys can see the, the hard work that's gone into this. And the hard work that you can see, whoa, okay, that's slippery, with the rain moving as the accelerator brake, look, I'm going to hit the brakes now. The rainfall comes down, hit the accelerator. That's what we've got. And that's the kind of quality that we're looking at in the set of Corsa now. Never before seen. You can see the you can actually see a line there. Now this is of course, as I said, a work in progress. Um, they all this is getting better all the time. Uh, this is this is always getting better, and of course, Sol, which is uh, one of the mods I use, combined with this shaders patch, which is a must-have combined with content manager which is again a must-have some mods whoa okay yes I just I literally just lost the car there in the wet that's incredible I didn't even realize that was going to happen I've not I've not driven at Silverstone in the wet uh, in this title I've not driven at can I knock these over now Oh yeah, you can knock these over now. They never used to be collidable, I don't think. No, it's gone now. Right. So I never used to. I've not driven at Silverstone in the wet, and I did. I did one drive at the Nordschleife in the wet, and uh, that was that was a video that was supposed to go out, but instead of that one, there's this one. Um, that video is available on Patreon if you want to support me on Patreon. That one is available on Patreon. And if you don't want to support me on Patreon, you can go support the uh, creator of the Shaders mod on Patreon. That would be incredible. Um, I think he does fantastic work. So let's go ahead and start up the wipers so that we can actually see how this works. Yes, this is a set of Corsa. 
How is this a Cessna Corsa? 2020, from 2014 to to this. You you would not you you would not see this being a Cessna Corsa. It would make in 2014 you could not see this ever becoming this. It's just it just didn't seem possible. And yet here we are with a set of Corsa with this oh okay that's a puddle. With this kind of weather, this kind of it looks so real. Yes, the, the raindrops still need to be worked on. Uh, not on the screen, uh, it's just the raindrops falling. I think they need to be worked on a little. But I'm actually going to present my findings to to the creator of the mod, uh, to the shade dispatch or creator, and just give him my findings as I'm driving around here. So a few things that I can point out here that I would like to see changed. Um, the weather, when it's on heavy, so for example, if I go over here and change this to full maybe this is still isn't quite enough you see I think maybe that is a heavy enough I would like it so that if you did that you would immediately not be able to see now at this point I can still I can still see now it is very difficult to see that's for sure but I can still see but I would like it that I had to... I'm going to go through this puddle on purpose, let's see what happens. Not much through some of the puddles. I can feel the car skipping. I would like to have to have my wipers on that and then still be struggling to see. And I've been in rain that does that. But at the moment I can have my... well, I can have my wipers like this and still see in absolute... Uh, in the absolute maximum rate. So that's one thing. Maybe just increase that further uh, as a... That was it. Honsard Aquaplane dot gone. Strange. Either that or there's something wrong with this car. Um, I've broken something in the car. But I, I have a feeling it's, it's, it's the water. Because I was fine a moment ago. So... I would like to see that. Other things I'd like to see, obviously, I'm sure it's coming. Snow and, uh, you know, to, to have the ground covered in snow. I am I am almost 100% certain that that is coming. We've got... Yeah, that's water. Uh, we've got the different times, different seasons already. So we, we can do that. And that changes the grass and the trees and all of that kind of stuff, which is awesome. But I'd, I would like to see, I would like to see snow on the ground as well. I think that's that, that would be incredible. But I think once the rain is sorted out, once the particles for the rain and stuff are sorted out, there's something you can do later on. Sounds. I do need to hear some sounds on this. I'd like to hear the rain uh, sort of pitter pattering on the windows. That would be that would be a nice sound uh, because that that would just give it a little bit more in the way of realism but already this is pretty realistic for example if i was to just uh let's go ahead and i don't know i'm just going to stop here let's just stop here like that and let's have a look outside and just see see what we have let's leave that in neutral that does look pretty realistic uh, if I'm honest, and I could always, as I said, I could go to this, I can go over here, click on that, we've now got depth of field, uh, we could always change the aspect ratio if we wanted to, give it a different kind of aspect ratio if we wanted to do that. I like leaving them default because it, they make nice wallpapers and 16.9 is a quite a common one, but what I like to do is I like to make sure that if you're going to, if you're looking at an aspect ratio of 2 to 1 or something like that, then uh, at least there is something in there so there's something something available so let's let's take a look at what that what that looks like and i think that looks rather remarkable as as a picture so these this is how a set of corsa has changed uh, over time it has changed quite significantly and you can see look uh disable 
to see the wet look, you can see how how the track looks different. Uh, you can say uh, debug the car wetness. You can see I can make the car look more or less wet. Uh, we could say debug drops. No, I'm not going to do that. You can disable puddles, disable the rain maps. This is all a debug, of course, but this is how it works and it's it's fantastic you can see i'm still getting 60 frames per second uh, which is which is pretty cool i could always do that i'm not i've never i'm never sure what that does it just and it just does something to the glass it messes up the glass a little but anyway let's should we get on with a little bit more driving let's do a little bit more in the way of driving this car does it's a bit strange this car is a bit strange. Here we go. I want to see if there's any more puddles I can get myself into. Oh, also, of course, we have uh, lights. I, I forgot about that. There's a puddle. That was a puddle. Touch the, gr touch the grass. Got the puddle. It was gone. Uh, so we've, we have lights as well, and you can see that they do they do light up things, as you can see. And uh, if I if I just stop here, let's let's see what the lights look like from outside as well. There you go. Those are the lights, as you would expect. So lights on, lights off. Uh, sometimes you can do other types of lights, but unfortunately, it looks like this one does not have the other types of lights at the moment but you can have sort of full beams and things like that but still the lights work which is something that you would not have expected either uh, just trying to figure out I am looking for better obviously uh, better screenshots as well I want to move just a little bit forward there and then move move my camera closer because this puddle could be my friend. No, it is. It isn't going to be my friend. And you can see that the wetness. See over here, it doesn't look the. It doesn't look great with the wetness on there. But if I go ahead and and take a take a shot, take a look at it. Yeah, that doesn't look great. So I can always just go into the debug and say, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's debug the car wetness, uh, or debug or even debug the rain. There you go. We've got the rain. Very little rain. Try the shot now. What do you have? Something looking a little bit better. So there is a lot that you can do that we never ever used to be able to do in a set of Corsa. It's incredible uh, how much a set of Corsa has changed. And we could have a, a lower wetness, less water if we wanted to. Let's just have a little bit of water, for example. And the wetness is, so it's fairly wet, but it isn't that. It's just started, for example. The rain has just started. That's that's the kind of thing we're looking at. And you can see that that looks very much, very different. And now the driving, on top of that, the driving will also be pretty different. In fact, I can immediately feel I have a lot more in the way of grip here. And you can probably notice immediately that I can, though it's not as much grip as the dry track, I'm actually quite capable of, in places, putting my foot down and not having the car spin out on me. So there, there is so much that can be done nowadays in a set of course, and I'm, I think it's just brilliant. And I wanted to show this to you guys because I wanted to, to highlight just how much work these mod creators mod authors put in not just uh, not just for soul uh, I forgot I've forgotten their names or well, well actually I think it's Peter Bowes and the other one's name on the content creator and content manager sorry not content creator content manager and shaders mod creator um, I'm not sure how to pronounce them I do not want to pronounce it incorrectly so I'm not going to pronounce his name but um, the amount of work that they put into this, the person who created the immersion uh, post-processing for this with Reshade, again, it, the amount of work they put in, it's really, really awesome. 
they, they've put in a lot of effort, a lot of time. Those that create the RSS mods, uh, they put in a ridiculous amount of work to, to do that. Also, it looks like uh, the sun's setting now. So there's so much work that goes into these things, and I think it's it's fantastic, and the amount of work that, that people put in, I'm extremely... Yeah, look, it's getting quite dark. I'm extremely amazed um, at the fact that after all this time, Assessor Corsa still is something that people constantly return to. I think it's, it's, uh, it's brilliant that people keep coming back to it and that it's still actively, uh, actively um, supported. Even if Kunos no longer support it themselves uh, actively, at least it's supported actively by the modern community. This looks brilliant. This, this does actually look brilliant. And I am going to take one, I'm going to do one more lap of this in the dark. And you can see how much harder it gets to drive in the dark, especially in the rain, in the dark, in the rain. You can barely see anything. You really have to know what you're doing and where you're going, especially on a track like Silverstone, where it isn't designed to be raced in the middle of the night. You don't tend to race this in the middle of the night, and you could probably do it on a, on a nice day, but on a day like this, you know, you're, you're not supposed to be doing this. And you've got to be incredibly, incredibly careful and know the track very, very well. So let's see if I can make it through Maggots and Beckett's without without binning the car. I doubt I'll make it... Oh, let's see, first of all, if I can make it to Maggots and Beckett's without binning the car. Maybe try and increase the wiper speed again. And there we go. Not quite binned it yet, although I cannot see where the track is. There's the track. Very, very difficult to see. A nice challenge, though. A challenge that you would think that could never happen uh, in a set of Corsa. Now, you might be wondering how do you get hold of hold of this version of the Shades Patch? Well, you have to support the creator on Patreon for this, or just wait until it's all, all the bugs are fixed, and I'm sure he will release it to everybody. But if you want to support him on Patreon, uh, I do recommend you do so. Just, I'll try and link him in the description box below, um, if I remember. If not, just look for the uh, content manager, set of course a content manager, and just look for that creator name. I think it's X4Fab or something like that is the is the name he goes under on Patreon. So just just take a look for that and, and see what what so you can find right let's see what i can do here that's not looking too bad and this is where i'm going to end it lots of water lots of that uh i would like to have this car in reverse How far I'm going to reverse, I am not too sure. Maybe until the entire word Silverstone will be uh, present. So if I do do that, uh, move it back a little bit more. There we go. Then I can go ahead and, oops, not do that. And you can just take a look for for yourself at, at the kind of kind of quality you get out of out of this. Go ahead and get rid of that. Go there. Click that. Ta-da! Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Uh, maybe not that far in the future. Let's go ahead to about a sunrise. Yeah, let's about there. That kind of time. 
That's perfect. About that kind of night's time, and take the photos to see what we get. I'm not sure you can complain with that, and with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos on a set of course, and leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really really help me out. Also, you can find me on social social media at ECGadgetLP for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I will see you guys next time in a set of Corsa where, you know what, with all this, it just opens up so many new opportunities, and I have no idea what I will be coming up with next, so uh, make sure you just stay tuned and uh, see what happens. I'll see you guys then.